Hi, I'm Nelson Davis. Other than the actual business idea, probably the most discussed subject is money. Money is many things to a business, of course, the oxygen, the bloodstream, and the lubricating oil. Ultimately, the customers, your product, and your people are the most important elements, but in reality, you don't even get that far without the money. And that's why money dominates any authentic conversation with people who are launching businesses. Today, I want to talk to you about some of the ways that you can find the money you need to launch or take some meaningful steps to grow your business. What guides my thinking and everything about money for your business is relationships. Building relationships well can give you access to the money you need to build your enterprise. You know, we're literally swimming in an ocean of the stuff. Just look at the financial pages of your favorite newspaper or magazine. You see news about businesses and money all the time. It seems to be changing hands every day. So as business owners, we just want to have our own hands become the resting place for some of it. So, relationships. You should spend some face-to-face time with your bank manager as step one, letting that person know who you are and what you're working hard to accomplish. At the same time, you should be sizing that person up to determine whether they can believe in you and your goals. See, they can't help you if they don't know you. And it's difficult to get money for startup from a bank. The most common place to get money for starting and growing your business is what I call the bank of friends and family. Yes, your uncle Ned or cousin Susie should be your first stop if you're looking for funding. Of course, if you haven't spent time nourishing the relationships with those relatives, you'll probably have to look elsewhere. And if you ask your best friend for a business loan, you will quickly find out about the depth of that friendship. One of my favorite approaches to starting a business is customer financing. And I'll tell you what that means. When I wanted to start my television production business to mount the Making It TV show, I tapped into two sources for financing it. First, I dipped into my very own very modest savings for a couple of thousand dollars, which is the same sort of thing that was done by a Michael Dell or Bill Gates. But what really got me going was getting my first TV show sponsors to help me out with the financing. And here's how I did that. It began with weeks of conversations to build relationships with individuals at the prospective sponsorship companies. You see, I needed a couple of people who would commit to spending some dollars on sponsoring a local TV show. And when a couple of them were committed to the idea, I told them that I was in a startup situation and that I needed their help to finance the necessary people and equipment rentals. Remember that we had begun to build a trusting relationship. So when I asked for 50% of the purchase order up front, they responded with the most welcome word you'll ever hear in business, and that word is yes. To my great relief, Arco Petroleum and AT&T became my very first sponsors and finance partners for the show. And with a variety of blue chip sponsors and advertisers for the long haul, the program was on the air successfully for over 20 years. Additionally, I just got to tell you a quick story here about an unusual bit of business finance work that was about risk-taking, not relationships. Back in 1971, a guy named Fred Smith took his personal fortune of around $4 million dollars he raised about an additional $90 million to, to found a delivery company structured in a way that it could potentially deliver packages overnight to anywhere in the world. This was something that at the time had never been done. And as you may guess by now, that company was Federal Express. They burned through that money, and Smith faced a week when they didn't have the money to pay the fuel bill for the airplanes. So Smith took his last $5,000 and turned it into $32,000 by playing blackjack in Las Vegas. Now, I don't advise that strategy, but obviously it worked out pretty well for Smith and FedEx. So the primary ways to put the money together include your own savings, friends and family, and customer financing. I've met some entrepreneurs who use credit cards to finance their startups, but to me that just seems to be a sure recipe for too many sleepless nights. For you to actually go swimming in that vast ocean of money that surrounds you, Investing the time to build individual relationships with people who can help and encourage you is one of the most important steps. Those relationships, you must understand, can be more powerful than money. 
I'm Nelson Davis, and I want you to thrive and prosper in this entrepreneurial world. Mm-hmm.